What is up, my little cherries, and welcome back to my Cottage Living LP. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Cherie. Last time we left off in the last episode, I believe Snow was on her way to meet the Creature Keeper. And we also could not find him at the end of that episode. But I think we've located him this time. He is actually right here. So we wanted to go and tell him all about the birds and what they told us when we talked to them. So he can give us our um, reward. So it says, my friend, I think you've come to see the forest through the trees. Happy trails until we meet again. I think that's what that said there. But what happened is I told him that the birds actually talked back to me. And he gave us our reward. So we should have some um, trinkets and uh, a bunch of stuff in our inventory. Because we just got that errand completed. Happy trails until our paths cross again, it says. Okay. So now we've got that errand completed. Let's see what he gave us in our inventory. Um, I believe that's a bag of flour, some wolfsbane, um, a tulip, maybe some milk. I think that is. Um, so... He gave us quite a lot of stuff in our inventory now. So now that we have all that, I think we should probably book it back home in a little bit. Um, I think that's what we might do. Because I don't want any of this stuff to spoil. And what's this? Red hot... It's like a rooster or something. Well, we got all kinds of stuff in our inventory now that he gave us for our reward. So, let's head back to the house and we'll meet you there. Okay, we have made it back to our house. Um, we got all of our rewards in our inventory. Let's change up her outfit a little bit. I think she was like overheating for a minute there. Alright, that's better. So, let's just see what's going on at home, shall we? Um, we got a lot of bugs going on over here. Let's do a little spraying for bugs. Is that Peter? Is that our little bunny Peter over there? He's probably stealing some of our vegetables. It's okay. We'll let him slide. <laughs> our bees are enraged, so we're going to put down some mite treatment, too. These bees are always mad. Angry bees. Angry bees. All the time. Sorry if my throat feels, I mean, sounds a little scratchier than usual. It actually feels scratchier than usual, too. So, yeah, sorry if that is distracting. But we got all kinds of feed here. Um, it says gift to Ra Raul, so I think that's what we need to do with that. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll probably end up seeing Raul when we go into town. We're not going to worry about it right now. But I, right now, I just want to make sure all of our animals are clean and fed and... Here comes Grim. He's always here. I think Grim hangs around because we we do have um, Prince Frederick's uh, 
his little ashes are in the house, so maybe that's why Grim hangs around all the time. I'm not sh really sure on that one, but... That's one possibility, that that's why Grim is always, always hanging around. I think we're going to just focus on how to bring uh, Prince Frederick back to life, actually. Um, because running these errands seem to take, like, all day. <laughs> They take actually more than all day. I mean, this one errand that we've tried to do has taken like two, three sim days. Like, that's a whole lot um, in sim time. So, we're just gonna go over here and take care of our little friends here. Aw, oh, look. He's like, thank you for brushing me. Aw, so cute. He's like, I'm like, okay, Snow's like, get out of here. I brushed her for a little bit. Now she's like, shooing him away. <laughs> That's funny. Well, we're going to make sure everybody's clean and fed and brushed. And I would like to bring Prince Frederick back to life. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do it in this episode. I think I'm going to have to look up. Um, how we actually go about doing it because I don't think it's going to be as easy as snapping my fingers and he's going to just come back to life but we will see just make sure everyone is taken care of here our animals have been doing pretty well I mean even though we haven't been like super on top of everything like because we've been running errands and stuff every time we come back to the house they seem like they're you know pretty content and taken care of which I'm happy about let's see um See, we can leave the sugar skull offering, but I'm not sure that that does anything as far as, like, um, trying to bring him back to life. So, uh, but I'm going to try it. I don't know, like, if that is just for, like, collecting the sugar skulls or... I'm definitely going to have to do some uh, off-camera... Uh, exploration or playing and reading up on because I'm not sure I'm not exactly sure how to bring them back to life I know there's a way though I do know that there is a way I'm just not sure on how so I'm just gonna have to read up on that um, I'll probably end up doing some some gameplay off camera because I don't want to bore you guys with like you know the tedious stuff we may have to do, so we'll see. Snow's gesture of respect was appreciated. The ancestors have heard our call and sent a day of the dead owls oh, oh, to roam the neighborhood. So I feel like this is for the sugar skull like collection which is not what we're trying to do um so yeah oh we're trying to bring him back to life uh we're not trying to collect sugar skulls even though that would be cool but it's not really what we our goal was so that's not what we want um, so, like I said, I'm probably just going to have to look it up on how to do it and what we need to do it and go from there. So, that's going to be at least a few more episodes. I feel like this let's play will be successful 
once we bring back our prince there he is so so far I mean we know how to bring his ghost back but that's about it like there's nothing here that says like bring back to life or I have a feeling that it's something to do with like a food you eat or it's something like that probably by the next episode I will figure out how exactly we're gonna go about bringing him back to life cuz uh, right now I have no clue <laughs> So, we're just going to enjoy his company right now as a ghost. But, we will be bringing him back to life soon. He's pretty annoying as a ghost too, I must say. Because he keeps, like, breaking things and trying to, like, haunt my objects and stuff. So, even if we bring the ashes outside, it turns into a tombstone. It's still not really giving me any, um, sentiment gain. Um, but still, like I said, it's not bringing, uh, the, the, the ashes outside didn't seem to do anything either. So, it turned into a tombstone. That's about it. It didn't change any, uh, interactions. So, there's definitely more that I'm going to have to do. Definitely more reading I'm going to have to do. <laughs> Find out what... What's up? Is that Peter? No, it's just a wild rabbit. What are you doing up there? I don't even know if I've ever showed off this little secret room up here. Probably not, but that's what's upstairs. It's just like a little single room. Ah, uh, see? There he goes. There he goes. You break that toy. He did. He broke my toilet. See, he's pretty annoying as a ghost. That's why I'm just like ready to bring him back because he's so annoying as a ghost like when I bring you back I'm not bringing you back so you can like haunt my life <laughs> I'm bringing you back so we can like spend time now I gotta uh, pay a repairman to fix my stuff oh, you can't win either way you go <laughs> All right, I gotta call the repairman now because I'm not replacing that for 200 bucks. We still haven't gotten our um, promotion, so yeah, I'm not paying for that to be replaced. Let's call our little repairman. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Frederick. Thanks a lot. Well, doesn't look like we're going to be able to resurrect our prince just yet, but it's coming. Don't worry. I will be doing mad research on how to get this done. <laughs> In the meantime, we're going to put all of our 
food items in the fridge because I know they'll go bad very quickly. Our repairman got here pretty fast too. That's cool. Cause I'm so happy I remembered to put all this stuff away. It'll be a shame to have all this food go bad. I'm just trying to put everything in there. <laughs> Maybe in the next episode, we'll finally meet our evil queen. Hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> this pose is so funny. They just break out into this pose. Yeah, I'm thinking next episode, maybe we'll um, run into our evil queen. And um, have a little interaction with her. I don't think we've ever even met her yet. So that would be cool to do. Um, maybe I'll just leave his tombstone out here. I mean, it doesn't seem to have any different interactions. Like whether it's the ashes or whether it's... The tombstone, so nothing different popping up. So, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Um, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with something you eat, but don't quote me on that. I'm gonna have to look that up. Snow, every, while everyone's in a flirty mood, maybe we should just get our woohoo on. <laughs> maybe we should just get our woohoo on. Has to be boyfriend. I thought he was already her boyfriend, but let's do it. Okay, let's make it official. Only right, right? So, they're officially boyfriend and girlfriend, even though we have not brought him back from the dead yet. But, it's coming. It's coming soon. Lottery day. Oh, maybe we can play the lotto. That might be good. Get some extra cash. Let's get a little ghost woohoo in. I think that's going to wrap it up after we get our woohoo on. <laughs> so cute. Yes, I'm ready to bring him back from the dead, though. I'm so ready. He can help us around the house. He can help Snow with her animals. And he will stop breaking all our objects. Hopefully, if he's not a ghost anymore. <laughs> I thought these little gnomes came to life, too. I have to look that up too, because I could have sworn that these little gnomes come to life. But I think I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys. Look at that smile. <laughs> He's one happy ghost. See you in my next one, guys. Bye.